bloody absolute shambles, that's all I can say. Everybody from Kalangu and Goa. I think we're in Kalangu. Been in Goa now for just over a week. Just chilling, swimming at the beach, eating loads of nice seafood. Done no filming whatsoever. Uh, basically, because we've got uh, family and friends to come out to Goa to come and see us. Uh, but today, a bit of filming on the cards. And where are we going today? A party boat so we're going on a, a party boat and goer it cost us uh, 1400 rupees each and that includes different activities kayaking paddle boarding uh, you get a couple of free drinks and a few other things I can't quite remember it was supposed to be 1800 rupees each but we got a bit of a bargain with because there's four of us so it's five hours from one till six, I think. And you get picked up about half 11, quarter to 12, because it's about an hour's drive. So uh, we're just on his way out now, get a bit of brekkie. And then, yeah, we'll see, see what the day holds for us. So it's not been as busy as I thought, Goa. I think we're just coming into the season now. I believe that the busiest times are sort of November, December, January. It is now the 2nd of November. So maybe it's going to start picking up a bit. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the, I think it's called Bagger Beach Road. So we've got Kalangoot Beach over this side, five minute walk. And then Bagger Beach is about two kilometers up this road on the left. That's been my favorite beach. Always something going on there. No, thank you. So yeah, we're just going to find something to eat now. So we've chose the closest restaurant to us because we're a bit got time constraints this morning. Here's the big lad himself, Mr. Ryan Rhodes. Don't dare look at the camera. <laughs> Tuna sandwich. So that's Brecker done. Enjoy your food, folks. So now we've got the tour getting picked up at half 12, they rang before, it was supposed to be half 11 but it's half 12 now. So uh, yeah, it's just down here. So here we go, party boat, first time I've ever done anything like this. We don't usually do stuff like this to be honest, but we'll give it a go, see what happens. Hopefully it'll be good. So very cheap for food here in Goa. You can get dumb biri chicken biryani for a hundred which is a pound I mean how can you moan at that and it's lovely as well right so this is where we booked the tour let me just show you the name from outside this is where we booked the tour here go a tour and travels near Kalangoot beach and this is what we're going for party boat adventure so we do golfing sightseeing snorkeling kayaking a sup board whatever that is and some fishing the speedboat and bumper ride is is extra which we didn't pay for so there are the times this your shop your shop this my shop go other and do travel yours yeah very very good very good people here very good prices i'm putting you on youtube even got some nice fishing here Then. Catfish? Catfish. Yeah, this yeah. is a shark. Shark? Wow. 1700 rupees it's supposed to be, I think I said before, but a little bit of negotiation and you can get them down. So we paid 1400 per person, so 2800 for me and Chanel, and then 2800 for Alicia and Ryan. So not a bad, not a bad discount really. Nice taxi stand here outside if you want a taxi, drinks, nice hotel opposite. Plenty of shops selling uh, shit shirts, like I've got on. 
So here it is, the force bus. Thank you, bro. An hour and 15 minutes late. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. So off the bus, or the whatever it is, van. Here's the boat. Hello. Very good. So here's the apparent party boat here that we were supposed to get on at one o'clock. So yeah, here we go. Look at this then. Hello. Omsai, on the river, hey. Look at this then. Looks like it's just us four on the old boat. But nice epic views. Here we go, party boat. First time ever doing something like this, believe it or not. Oh, here's the DJ. Yeah. yeah. So 40 people on this uh, party boat, apparently. And there's only four of us. Nice scenes though. You can even see over there if the blue post picking it up, it's like a church type thing, like Portuguese style. One thing about Goa is many of you probably already know that it was colonised by the Portuguese up until don't know the date. And you can see that like throughout the throughout Goa basically the different Portuguese buildings the architecture even some of the food that you get here is uh, from the Portuguese oh look at that jellyfish there massive big jellyfish down there plenty of rubbish in there as always so today's choice of sun cream or sun protection is carrot oil so no protection basically so according to the tour guide man that we bought the tickets off you get uh, two drinks each free you get food like rice chicken dal all that sort of stuff and then obviously you can buy I'm guessing you can buy extra beers. You've got snacks and that here, if you can hear me. Off we go on this packed out party boat. Back to the Brimmel. Chai, coffee, snack, chai, to upper level, floor, chai, chai, chai. So, beer one of two. You're allowed two bottles each. They're serving food up there. They got chicken curry, rice, uh, chole, which is like a chickpea curry, and then dal. Smells all right. I'm probably not going to eat chicken though, just in case. Going to have a beer first. Yeah, happy days, eh? Even though I'll be completely honest with you, I've been hammering the beers every night for the past two weeks. I don't really want it, but I paid for it now. So I'm sure after one or two of these, I'll be a bit more merry and no doubt end up buying more, but it's all part of the deal. So Alicia and, Ch sorry, yeah, Alicia, I've got you mixed up then. Chanel and Alicia have both gone for some food. It actually looks really good. Chicken curry, dal, chole, bit of salad, 
Does it take possession out? Nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some of them then. In there. Hello, Captain. Hello. Around this way, there's the anchor. So it's an absolute carnage trying to get on any of these things out there. The bloody kayaks attached to the boat. The kayak is literally attached to the boat so you can go that far. Trying to charge us 300 rupees per person for any other activity, which is ridiculous. They told us 100 at the place where we've got the tickets from. The absolute shambles, that's all I can say. Just shouting. You see the life jacket fits well. Good job I can swim. <laughs> Exciting kayak tour. I'll see you in an hour. Let's go over there. See you later. Oh shit, a bean tied back. Oh my god, it's on a roof. Yes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, we got three minutes on the kayak and then we were dragged back in. Happy? Yeah, yeah, that's no, not really. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, we literally got on it and then they started trying to drag us back in on a rope. Oh, God. They let us free for about. They let us free for like a minute, 30 seconds. So after them few minutes on the bloody uh, paddle boards, it looks like we're turning round now and going back to where we started, I think. So, uh, it's just India for you, I suppose. This. Here's a move, Ryan. Three beers for free, not two. It's got to be the best party boat I've ever been on, even though it's the only one I've ever been on. <laughs> so, how long have we been on it? Two hours? And that's it. Finished. Finished? Good day, my friend. Nice meeting you, brother. So, yeah, the tour, <laughs> the, the party boat, whatever you want to call it was uh, very bad to put it that way so yeah i didn't really know what to say about that to be honest we got sold party boat dolphin watching kayaking swimming uh what what else so oh yeah fishing and we literally went half a mile up the river we had a bit of chicken curry and then you just literally do 30 seconds on a on a kayak or a minute that's tied to the boat so yeah not not a great experience and now we've got to walk walk back by the looks of it <laughs> fast and strong last long that's you in it ryan oh, wow. 